again, you can check out the last two weeks. It's there, nice and simple. Do it from um, a couple of angles. We had a basic. We started off with our basic, of course. We had our walks. Standard fare. Hold, and then we changed the holds. We did the alternates. Um, and then we had our points on eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We talked about lifting the follow so that she knew we were starting again, re rejigging that walk. We had the washing and slide. Yeah, so we'll just um, do it from another angle and then we'll just talk you through a couple of points in there. Hit a basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holds. One, two, three, Forwards, guys. Six, seven, and then two eight. Back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. So that's probably really fast for beginners, because Simon's being really mean. Um, <laughs> but with the alternate holds, basically you get into holds and leads you do a double kick. Any which, point you feel like, it doesn't matter. As long as your left leg can handle the weight. And then you do a double kick to get out of it. Um, and it can be forward or back, it doesn't matter. Just make sure double kick, double kick. And the points, um, guys, remember to ground. Ooh, ooh. You can't lead, the, can't lead the pointy bit, so it's a visual, but you can lead the rest of it. Now, if you've learnt normal points, this will mess with your head a bit because it's slightly Time's different. Off. We don't do the three waggles at the end, we do one waggle. Stop so, off. So we go rock, step, two, three, four, two, five, two, six, one, seven, stop and off, eight, rock, one. Step. So, waggle, 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 stop off. That's the hard thing. Go, go, go. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then the Washington slide, you needed to make sure that um, you lead, lead her in towards you, out, and then it was just a little down so that we could use our upwards motion to create that slide out. And guys, keep your feet small, you don't need to be huge. Don't go too outside of your outside of your shoulders because otherwise you lose your balance and you have to work twice as hard. And then it ends up being a 10 count move rather than 8. And once you're in that slide position, you just want to shift the weight over because we've slid our weight. You want to shift your follows weight over so you can then slide back. Cool. Easy as pie. Thanks for coming. Cool class. See you not next week and not the week after. We'll see you at Sea Jam. <laughs> but see you um, on the 12th of March for a block. Cool. Level 2. We wrapped up the pace, got um, faster and faster and faster and faster. We had a set of block moves, we're going to give you those block moves so that you can practice it in your own time, getting faster and yeah. faster and faster. So we had three simple phrases, each with a break on the end. Um, and then we just honed your technique a little bit here and there. Just but basically, here's the moves, put it on at home, and then slowly speed your music up. Once you've got these moves, just keep on going through them. And then it'll help you get faster and faster. Yeah. And then the faster you get, the more you need to relax. Yes. So we had to swing out. We had a circle. We had another swing out. Then we had whatever you wanted, trucking, points, whatever, another swing out. Outside turn. Texas Tommy. Points. Circle into uh, Charleston. And then we hit our point slide, which was a break, but then we hit a break, another break. Stomp slide. Ah, swing out, back into it. So just um, a tip there, swing out. If you use your follows momentum to move her back, you don't have to work as hard. Um, yeah, so you guys stay on the spot. One, two. We talked about not yep. stopping because it's, yeah, because it hurts. And not bringing her with you until you want to swing her out. Um, we also talked about anchoring down at the end of our swing out for the leads. Um, and not stopping. Yes. Because it hurts. Don't One, stop two, it three, four, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So he anchored back. Five, six. We talked about creating a stretch for the ladies. Seven, eight. You can use a kick or change for that. Uh, we talked about guys stretching through your body, not releasing the shoulder. Um, Lots of technical stuff, which you would have got if you came to our class. Yeah. And we just a little reminder on the Texas Tommies because I hate Texas Tommies down wrong because it hurts my shoulder. Um, just remember you're using the momentum of your body, not the arm. Too strong arm be here. If you move, if just do the Texas Tommy. 
One, two. As you come around and you let go, my arms are actually there. just going to sweep Don't need in. It. As long as you Don't follow throw it in a nice. Use your energy, use your body, up. use your own body, keep it close, keep it tight. Um, the bigger the mess, the harder the fall. But be relaxed. Relax, relax, relax. If you're tense, she's going to tense and you're not going to be able to dance very well. You want that relaxed fluidity, the nice elasticity. The faster you get, the more relaxed you need to be. Cool. Thanks for coming. Cool class. Have a nice day.